For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another update video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over the player ratings change that just came out. I do this every Thursday uh, or every other Thursday if there's an update video as well, because typically, you know, EA likes to drop update videos on Thursdays as well. So, if you guys want to continue this, as always, please make sure to be subscribed, hit like button, let me know in the comment section. This really helps out the video and the channel, and I appreciate all the support. I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. This is just a player ratings update, so there's not a lot of changes, although I do think that i finally saw julio jones on the eagles so all the final rosters should be um you know completed after the uh the, the recent moves with the trade deadline and stuff like that which is nice um but i might be wrong like i said i think i saw him on there but i'm not 100 certain so the highest rated player that went up or down a point is a guy's been moving up all year in max crosby he went up a point uh which i think his speed actually went up to an 85 too if i'm looking at this correctly so he's faster and his overall went up which is like a double plus because speed is all that really matters in madden and and Max Crosby is an absolute beast. I've been calling it for weeks now that I think he's going to keep rising because he is one of the best defensive players in the league. we got a player going down here in Chris Jones, who I know that the uh, the Chiefs lost, but it's still surprising to see, you know, some of the some of the ratings changes that I, I, I don't usually look at them ahead of time, but I did go through a little bit. And there's a couple that I really don't agree with. Chris Jones dropping a point doesn't necessarily make a ton of sense. The next one, though, is the one that really pisses me off, and that's Lane Johnson going down two points. Now, I watched the game. I know they, they played the Cowboys this week. I know he didn't necessarily play that great, but what did he do to go down two fucking points? I mean, that's ridiculous. Still the best right tackle in the league. I think he hadn't given up a sack in like three years. That's probably over with now because I think he gave up one against Dallas. Um, at, at least I think he did. I don't know if he got credited with it or what, but still, that's just ridiculous that he went down two points off of a win. You know what I mean? The team won the game, and I can't really remember, you know, him just getting abused like that. Like Terrence Steele on the other side, maybe. But that's just ridiculous to me. So I can't wait till I didn't get to, to Hurts yet. He hasn't gotten a ratings boost all year, and I think at some point he fucking deserves one, but whatever. Lamar Jackson went up a point. Uh, once again, Ravens are hot. He's playing at like an MVP level, so that doesn't necessarily surprise me. He's up to a 95 now. Um, when his speed rating goes up, though, that'll definitely be a, a cheat code. Derwin James goes up a point to a 94. You know, the, the Chargers did win a game. I can't really say. Maybe he got an interception or something. I can't really say. Joe Burrow, though, up two points. Uh, he's been playing really good lately. I never really understood why they dropped him down. He's still below with what he started the year at, at a 95. But he's up to a 94, and I'm sure that will continue to rise. Because, let's face it, EA likes who they like, and they don't like who they don't like. And they definitely like Joe Burrow, probably in the cover next year. Next up, we got CeeDee Lamb. He went up a point to a 93. Definitely had a huge game. It wouldn't surprise me if he went up two points uh, after the game he had. I'm still not huge on CeeDee Lamb. He's a really good, good player. But it's you could tell when actual cornerbacks were on him that he didn't necessarily play as good as he did um you know when he was uh beating up on on linebackers and safeties that's really where he lives and the eagles know i mean i know the eagles they don't have a slot corner right now all of our slot corners are injured so it's like he just had the perfect storm that's why he had almost 200 yards so one point probably makes the most sense two points in that scenario i wouldn't have cried about based on the fact they had almost 200 yards but he's definitely playing really good right now so you know that's definitely a guy on the rise tomorrow davis went up a point for the uh, new orleans saints he's up to 193 uh, Jair Alexander, he's a guy that constantly is going down and up and down and up. He's down a point right now. Joe Thune, up a point. I think he's been up going up quite a bit for the last couple weeks. He's up to a 92 now. And Justin Tucker went down a point last week, I think, or the week before that. Is now back up a point to a 92. He's a kicker, man. He should be like a 99 overall. I keep saying that as well. Keenan Allen, up a point to a 92. Marlon Humphrey, up a point to a 92. Uh, a lot of guys, you know, not, not a lot of huge movers here. Uh, we do have Chris Lindstrom going down a point. He's another guy that just keeps going up and down a point. So it's like a lot of these don't really matter. Creed Humphrey up a point to a 91. He's closing in on the highest rated center in the league. And Hassan Reddick, who really came to life after he got that cast taken off his hand, he's up to a 90 point. He got a, a point increase. And I think that's the first increase of the entire year, even though he's been absolutely lights out. He's one of the best uh, edge rushers in the league still. He finally gets a point upgrade. Kevin Byard, though, once again, the Eagles won that game. Remember that. They won the game. I've only mentioned three players from the Eagles so far. Two have gone down, and only one has gone up. So Kevin Byard goes down a point. I know he hasn't done a lot in Philadelphia yet, but he's only been there for like two weeks. So what are you, gonna, what do you expect? But he's down a point to a 91. A lot of down ratings in this, by the way. I feel like there's more down ratings than up ratings. We got Andrew Thomas, left tackle of the Giants, down a point to a 90. One of the best left tackles in the league, but that entire team is just a, is just a complete 
Um, you know, there's a complete calamity right now. Another guy down a point. This makes no sense. The league leading sack artist in Daniel Hunter is down a point. I'm like, I, am I even in the right? You know, am I even on the right page here? Doesn't Daniel Hunter lead the league in sacks with ten sacks? I know he was the fastest guy in the league to get to ten sacks, but for some reason he's down a point to a ninety. And I think Minnesota won the last game too, so I really don't know what happened there. But like I said, the majority of ratings I don't agree with. And there's a lot of down ratings. Continuing with more down ratings, we have Mika Hyde down a point to a 90. Quentin Nelson down a point to a 90. Um, you know, I can't really speak on all their performances. Vaughn Miller down a point to a 90. I can't speak on all their performances necessarily, but it just seems like they're really slashing things this week. I don't really know what it is. Antoine Winfield, though, up a point, one of the best safeties in the league. He's up to an 89. And here's the shock of the day. Jalen Hurts up two points to an 89. Totally shocked by that. I thought that the uh, the way the national media has been pumping up Dak after that loss, uh, like he outplayed Hurts and stuff like that, I kind of expected like Dak to go up to a 90 and jump Jalen Hurts, but it's actually the exact opposite. Jalen Hurts is having an MVP type year. I know earlier in the year he was he had a lot of he was responsible for a lot of turnovers. A lot of them were really fluky, you know, batted balls bouncing the wrong way and stuff like that. Uh, but lately he's cleaned all that up and he's been playing at an MVP level. I think in the last three to five weeks, I think he has the most yards of any player in the league rushing and passing. So it's about time that he actually gets some of the credit he deserves. This guy, based off of how he's performing year to year, week to week, he should be an above 90 player by now. 89 is still too low. This is one of the faces of the league. He's one of the best players in the sport. And I don't have an issue saying that. He should be above an 89. He should be above a 90. I don't know what quarterbacks are necessarily above him. But if you look at some of the players that are also 89 overall players, it's guys like Denzel Ward, Christian Derisaw, Brandon Ayuk, Bobby Wagner, Antoine Winfield I just mentioned. A lot of really good players. Amon Ross, St. Brown. Are you putting Jalen Hurts on that level of those players? They're all really good players. Is he on the level of those players? None of those guys are like franchise-changing talents like Jalen Hurts is. So what's taking him so fucking long to move him up a little bit? As I'm a little bit ramped up for today's uh, video, uh, Austin Eckler, he went up a point to an 88 um, you know, so another guy, I mean, I think he led the league in touchdowns last year. There's a lot of players. I mean, I could really look at a lot of players and say they're underrated uh, or should be rated higher. Jordan Mailata. I don't know what happened. Like, I, don't, I, I watched the Eagles game, uh, the whole thing. I don't really remember the Dallas defense getting a ton of pressure like that. I mean, they, they did their job. They did about what they normally do. But why is Jordan Mailata also going down a point? Lane Johnson's going down two points. I mean, what the hell's going on here? It's crazy to me to think that those two guys, Jordan Mailata, as far as PFF is concerned, is the highest rated lineman in the sport right now. Why is he going down a point to an 88? Like, where does EA get this shit from? Kenny Moore also, by the way, had, I think he was defensive player of the week last week in the AFC. He had to get two defensive touchdowns. I'm not sure, but I saw that somewhere. He only goes up a point. If he had two defensive touchdowns, getting two interceptions alone to me is worth two points. To me, every interception should be a point. If you had two defensive touchdowns, if that really happened, because like I said, I vaguely remember seeing that, that's worth more than one point. So, you know, like I said, there's a lot of, uh, I just don't understand a lot of these ratings as far as the changes from week to week. I mean, a lot of them just make me sick, if I'm being honest. Uh, continuing on, Jamal Adams down a point to an 87. Uh, Justin Herbert down two points to an 87, even though they won the game as well. I've, I've been critical of Justin Herbert a lot on these videos, but I still think he deserves better than an 87 overall. That I don't necessarily agree with. Kenneth Walker down a point. Um, Kenneth Walker III, the running back for the Seahawks. Really good player. Um, you know, like I said, a lot of these I don't necessarily uh, agree with. Uh, and I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video around there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna show a couple of more players that uh, were big movers. And to do that, we're going to go to the quarterback section of the list. Uh, as we have the top five quarterbacks, I actually tend to agree with. Patrick Mahomes, number one, I agree with. Lamar Jackson, number two. Joe Burrow, three. Josh Allen, four at a 93. And then Jalen Hurts at an 89 at five. I do agree he's the top five quarterback. You got two uh, at uh, six. Dak Prescott at seven, who only is there because Herbert dropped two points, which I necessarily agree with. I'd have Herbert ahead of him still. And then you got Aaron Rodgers, Kirk Cousins. These guys are injured. They can't really change their ratings. Guys like Jared Goff. Uh, Trevor uh, Lawrence hasn't really moved, but the big mover that I want to talk about is CJ Stroud. He got a plus three. That dude is up to an 80 overall already, and he's got to be, in my opinion, he's already a top 10 quarterback. Um, you know, it's not too far away from him jumping Brock Purdy and even Trevor Lawrence, who's an, only an 82. So tell me what you guys think about CJ Stroud, as I might put him on the cover of this video. So that's it for the video. If you guys want to see these every week, because I do like doing them, they're quick and easy and they're uh, fun. I get to talk a little NFL with you guys. Let me know in the comment section or hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over.
over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.